What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to APCR Spam in its finest form, featuring my good friend Jack the Ripper taking out his AMX 1390 on Overlord. But I wish I could say I was joking, but I'm not. So welcome to this guest replay. Here we are on Overlord. It is D-Day and Jack has decided to load a bucket load of APCR shells. But in my opinion, you know, this is just what... I mean, I would do this in the 1390 as well. Because even with APCR rounds, the gun handling is still absolutely trash. It's like a tier 8 bat chat. And I don't enjoy the bat chat's gun handling. And I didn't enjoy the 1390's gun handling at all. In fact, I wish I did this more often. Because I actually tried with the APCR rounds. But Jack spots a T-54 lightweight to start with. And takes a shot from him. But has to run away. And now he's going to engage the 54 lightweight and the VK2801. Manages to pop the turret of the VK and just unfortunately missing a few shells at the T54 lightweight because auto aim is real and the gun handling of the 3090 is completely trash even when you are aimed, which you will see in this replay. The T54 lightweight just backs up in time to get away from taking any more damage right there but I don't feel you know I'm sure Jack will receive some hates in the comments over this replay but he's well prepared for it I think he even he I mean he gave this replay to me because he wanted to see people's reactions so I don't really care and I'm sure Jack doesn't really care either but like I said the gun handling on the 1390 is completely crap and the only thing that negates that issue is the APCR rounds, especially when, you know, you're dealing with a situation like this. I mean, I mean, look at this. Look, I've watched this replay a few times. APCR, that one just went high. The first one went to the left, and the third one actually finally does damage. But a if those were AP rounds, none of those would have penetrated. So... And you could, I mean, you could argue that Jack should be trying to flank the guy and get closer to him and shoot APCR into his side and, or AP into his side and rear. But you can't always do that. Not always. Especially when you're losing 6-1 early game to the opposition because your team on the beach have just got absolutely wrecked. So Jack's going to go for his first reload. He gets lit up by the KV-4 moving into the open ground. So he's going to back up and take an alternative route. And see if he can shoot and get some damage done. Gets spotted by the T-54 lightweight. But this is the advantage of having the autoloader. The T-54 lightweight, nothing he could do about this situation. He did get one shot into Jack. But that is what you have to pay with when you come across a six shot auto loading light tank down at tier 8 now I'm sure my good friend the turkey tank could make this thing look absolutely beast just with AP rounds in fact I might challenge him to do that because he loves light tanks if you guys know his channel then you'll be well aware that he is just the light tank beast but I'm not I don't think Jack would admit that he is Maybe I mean maybe he would I don't, I don't really know how good jack is in light tanks overall but this was a very good replay albeit slightly heartbreaking at the end spoiler alert but he's got the kv4 taken out and now he is going to go for another reload there's a centurion at the back with an e75 over to his right hand side which i think just got taken out by the kv4 the centurion is just afk in the cap and the apcr rounds are just gonna bring this guy to absolute death. He drops off the spot for some reason. I don't know why he would drop off the spot there, but okay. The E75 is still up. He didn't get taken out by the KV4. My mistake, it was the other heavy tank over there that got taken out. But Jack is now up to 10 hits of damage with two kills. And he's gonna rush the E75 to get some shots into him. Get some nice shots into his side. And then dip away. But as he tries to dip away, the T-69 gets in the way. And the E-75 manages to get a shot into Jack. Damaging his gun, which is already bad. 
enough as it is. But Jack repairs the gun. And now he's back up and moving again, going for a reload. And at this point, I think he's going to hunt the artillery down, knowing that the enemy team is mostly over towards our base at the moment. But there is the Centurion, which is still in the cap. I, I still don't understand why he dropped out of spotting range, especially when Jack had binoculars, you know, there and... <laughs> And how much of an unlucky bounce is that? That just proves how bad the 1390s gun is, ladies and gentlemen. Even when you're right next to a Centurion 1, who is side on, you can still completely derp the shot and bounce off like the most ridiculous angle of his turret. Now he's going to close the distance on the M5355 balance wagon. 16 shots done so far, a decent amount of damage with 3 kills. And he's just about to level the scores for his team. Pushes over. Takes the time to aim. Is he going to get a high enough roll? Yes, he is. And the M53 has been swiftly taken out. 18 hits of damage so far. And now he only has one clip of APCR remaining. Before he has to use the bog standard rubbish AP ammo that this tank is provided with. So the enemy are currently taking out our artillery, although not really swiftly. Would have thought they would have been able to do it by now. Jack has a T-69 with him for support, but unfortunately they come across a Super Pershing and a Lorraine. Now the T-69 drives into the, uh, into the Lorraine and kills himself. Jack wisely takes out the Lorraine before getting some side shots into the Super Pershing but he's just in a position here where he can't get away from the Super Pershing's gun and he gets taken out so unfortunately the game is going to be a loss but he did score 21 hits and 5 kills so he managed to rack up just shy of 5,000 damage done a high caliber medal as well as popping the turret of that VK-28 which was just hilarious. But the APCR spam was real. But it just shows you how good this tank can be with APCR instead of the bog standard AP ammo. He picked up a mastery badge as well. Which is always nice. Wasn't really playing how a scout normally plays. Not passively at all. Completely aggressive gameplay in the AMX 1390 today picking up the mastery badge let's just ignore the silver losses and the apcr spam but still a very good game nonetheless unfortunately couldn't secure the win but that is that for today ladies and gentlemen i hope you did enjoy the replay feel free to give jack some abuse in the comments because you know he's given me some awful tank challenges to do in the past so i don't really care if you want to go off on jack because of the apcr spam <laughs> You go ahead, you do exactly what you want. But that is it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Be sure to check Jack's YouTube channel out. It will be in the description of this video. Go and give him a subscription because he is actually a very good player and not just an APCR spammer. Contrary to popular belief or, you know, from this video. But until next time, guys, I hope you did enjoy. Have a great day and peace out.